There's no reason for you to ever stop by. Ever again. You got that? What I get is you're in just as much denial as your girlfriend is. She stabbed you, Rafe. Your face is a mess. Your chest is a mess. You would have bled to death in the woods if Caleb hadn't come by to save you. When are you going to open your eyes and realize that your fiancé's found her dark side? Allison doesn't have a dark side. I don't know what you're talking about. Check a mirror. She was being manipulated by drugs that Joshua gave her. Just like people thought that Caleb was controlling my mind, too, until I got a taste of the dark side, got a taste of his world. Did I ever go back? No, 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 you know what you didn't, but Allison's not you, okay? She's a lot more like me than you want to admit. She's got a darkness inside her, just like everyone else on this planet. And right now, I bet she's being tempted with a big, fat, juicy apple. How are you going to handle it the next time Allison takes a bite of the forbidden fruit, huh, Rafe? I stabbed him and I left him to die. It's bound to change things in our relationship. So how did you handle it? You know, when Livy came at you <laughs> and... I'm being really serious. Like, I'm asking I, you honestly. I, I know you are. I know I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see, how did I feel when, um, when Olivia stabbed me through the heart? Well, at, at first I felt dead. And then when I came back, I, uh, oh, I hated her. Yeah, that's, that's what she said. We had words. She came by. So go on. What, what did you do then? What do you do? I did everything I could to get even. I was, I was cruel. Strange as it sounds, though, maybe that was a healthier choice than what Rafe's doing right now. See, that's just it. I don't think that he's allowing himself, you know, to feel what he's really feeling. Yeah, probably not. He, it's all right. He's trying to make sense of all this. Alice and I, I know as much as I wanted revenge, on Olivia, I also knew that I loved her deep down, and I know that... I know that Rafe loves you. No, I know that, too. I mean, I don't... I don't really question that. I know he loves me in his heart, but... I mean... For the first time, I... Like, I feel this distance with him, and... We can't really talk like we should. And I feel responsible. I mean, obviously, for what I've done, I, I feel responsible to try and try and make this better again. If I can, I want to make it better. God. Allison. Hey. Hey, you okay? No, I'm not. I don't know what's going on with me, but I feel. What's going like on with you? I go through these things where I get hot and yeah, I get well, what dizzy. You're going trying to go cold turkey off drugs, and that can be. <sighs> difficult for you know you should be at a hospital no We're, no i don't think i can make it there right now i'm serious well uh, let me take you all right i think you should go though come on no no i don't reef would freak out if he ever knew that. never mind would rafe would hey what's happening look at me what's happening to i you? don't know yeah. I've, this is starting to scare me though because i won't go away i don't know what to Allison. do all right listen to me listen, listen. I don't know what to do. stop Trust me, this is going to be all right. Just this one time. Okay. Trust me. Now, you are just so terrified that Caleb might be interested in Allison. Oh, you are wrong. You are t totally wrong. I mean, that part of my life is over. Caleb is interested in me and only me. Hmm. Okay. It's true. It's true, Rafe. I finally found someone who adores me, who just, who wants me for me. I am not threatened by Allison. I could care less what she thinks or what she does or where she goes. And just so you know, I'm not at all worried that Allison's ever going to be like you. Just stay away from us, OK? I just feel cold and sick. Yeah, this affects a lot of women. My God, <laughs> look at look at us. <sighs> you feel any better? 
Actually, I do. A little bit. Thank you. It kind of comes in waves. Thank you, though, for everything. For what? Just for sitting with me and talking with me. It's true what they say about you, isn't it? Caleb. I don't know. What do they say about me? Did you really have your way with women? Especially the ones going through heavy withdrawal. Yeah. You give them some drugs, yeah, that's me. I'm, <laughs> I'm there to score. <laughs> Ow. Hey. You all right? Oh, no, it's like acid in my stomach. Okay. Listen to me. We shouldn't be out here. It's a lot... It's a lot colder than you might think. Yeah, let's, okay. Let's get you home. Okay. All right, come on. All right? I don't think I can do this. Okay, it's okay. I'll help you. No, Caleb, I don't want to... Shh, baby, I don't care what you say. I'm... Caleb? Um... What the hell is going on here? You all right? Did he hurt you? No, no, of course he didn't hurt me. She's not all right either. Caleb, what were you doing with Allison? She's withdrawing from whatever drug Joshua gave her. I was just trying to take her home. You sure you're okay? No, I am. Okay, I'm, I'm actually better now. Thank you. All right, well, let's, let's get you out of here. Get her to a doctor. All right, you know what? You stay out of here. She looks pretty good to me. I'm strong and healthy as any one of us. That's not true, Olivia. You don't know her like I do. Can you please stop talking about me like I'm not here? Okay, Thank you. Go. Oh, I just go. love it the way the two of you come in to rescue her. I mean, can't you both get a brain cell in your head and realize this is classic Allison playing victim? Are you kidding me? And instead of getting one man to her rescue, she gets two. You, you really think she wants anything to do with if Caleb? If she doesn't, then why does she keep running to him? Running to him? He's probably the one going after her. Do you understand? This guy is a vampire. He shows up in this town. We are playing friends. Mr. Nice. friends. Yeah. Friends, that's all. So if either one of you have a problem with that, then that's just it. It's your problem. I'm not after Caleb, and I wasn't out looking for Caleb, but I'm also not sorry that I ran into him. Allison. He's been very nice to me, and Rafe, he's been talking to me. Okay, what does that mean? I can do that. You know that. What do you mean he's been talking no, to you? What no, that no, mean? that's not true. You're not talking to me, and you're doing it again. I'm... Doing what? You're do you're playing this game that like we're okay and everything's just peachy, even though I put a knife in your chest and, and that's not the case at all. There were circumstances. We discussed that. I know we discussed the drug, but that doesn't all of a sudden make our situation okay. You're right. We probably need to discuss this, but not like this. Not here. Okay. Oh well, don't go worrying about us because we're out of here. Caleb, I'm really sorry. Don't be. Just go see a doctor. You Take care of yourself, all right? Yeah, I will. Um, thank you. Anytime. Let's go. So you want to say something, or are you just going to give me the silent treatment all night? I would love to say something. I would love to tell you exactly how I feel without you getting angry with me. Oh, I think I know how you feel. You made it very obvious back at the docks. Yeah, well, so did you. <laughs> there is nothing going on between Allison and I. You get that? She was sick. She was upset. I was... I was trying to help her. Yeah, I saw the way you were helping her. Do you really want to have this argument again? Do you? Listen to me. You have no reason to be jealous. Really? How would you feel if you saw me in the arms of another man, especially if it was someone you couldn't stand, like Rafe? I wouldn't like it. And if this was the first time you're upset, I'd understand. But it's not. It's every time Allison comes around, I say two words to the girl, and you twist it into something that it's not. Oh, Caleb, listen to me. I am not the one who started this. I've been there to try to do it. about a lot. She's thinking about our next move. That's what she's thinking about. You have got to let this thing with Allison go. Just let it go. I don't understand. It is not just a thing. She happens to be my worst enemy. You know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. No, I won't. I'm not doing it. 
Meaning what? Meaning I'm telling you for the record, just so there is no misunderstanding here. No more Allison. I want her out of our lives completely. Do you understand that? I don't want to ever see you with her again. Ever. Did I just hear you right? Did you just give me an ultimatum? It's just that we're working really hard to get our lives back on track. And I just thought that Allison being in our way was a distraction. And Can I answer my question? Did you give me an ultimatum? Yeah, I, I, I guess I did. So answer the question. Stop seeing Allison or... Just stay away. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll finish it for you. Stop seeing Allison or it's over. I'll tell you what, I have no problem with not seeing Allison anymore. What I do have a problem with is being told what to do. So here's the answer to your ultimatum. So answer the question. Stop seeing Allison or... Just stay away. I'll tell you what. I have no problem with not seeing Allison anymore. What I do have a problem with is being told what to do. So here's the answer to your ultimatum. He'll be back. Because he can't stay away, he'll come walking through that door any minute. Doctor ordered. I was wondering if I could have the honor of this dance. Which one of us are you asking? Oh, I'm asking all three of you. <laughs> You'd love to. in this club. Take it someplace else. We're just having a good time, Jack. I don't care what kind of time you have. No, you look. I said we're having a good time. Now, get lost before I lose my temper. Fine. Have a drink again. Jack. But if you want to find Caleb, you better get down to the elixir and fast. You're gonna have a hard time hitting her in the car, me, Caleb. Wow. They look like they're having a good time, don't they? Too good of a time. Since when did you become such a prude? When they started bearing things. Great big bite out of you. <laughs> I wouldn't mind nibble myself. Well, I'm not gonna spoil any of your fun. <sighs> what are you doing here? There's room for one more. No, thanks. I think I'll make some fun of my own. So, uh, what are you gonna do about your boyfriend there? Nothing. He's having fun. Right. 
like to dance? No, thanks. Looking town. Yeah, I like it. Come here. See right over there. See that steeple? That's the church where Allison and I almost got married. Yep, that's the one. Thanks for that, by the way. And right there, right over there, there's GH. And a little bit to the left, it's the recovery room. Oh, I'm sorry, elixir. You know, something tells me you didn't invite me up here to admire the view. Well, it's just that standing up here, it all really hits you, you know. Port Charles is actually a lot smaller than what it feels like when you're down there living in it. Come on. You know the old saying. This town just isn't big enough for the both of us. I like it here too, Rafe. Mm. No plans on leaving. No, neither do I. Well, since we got that settled, I'll see you around. Uh-huh. Aren't you tired of this? Same endless battle that neither one of us is ever going to win. You got a better idea? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. A truce. Caleb and Allison? Yeah. The minute her and Rafe get into a fight, which is a lot these days, after she stabbed him, she goes running to him, crying on his shoulder, batting her baby blues. Like, that's my man. Okay. Have you told Caleb how you feel about it? He thinks I'm nuts and that I'm jealous. Are you? Jealous, I mean? No. In fact, the other night, just right over there, three girls, totally hot, all over Caleb. I didn't care. I didn't even blink an eye. But when it comes to Allison? No, it's different. He's got a big that blind spot there and no matter how many times I try and tell him. Over and over and over again, ab nauseam, I bet. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta do whatever you gotta do to get a man's attention. Okay. I can tell you that's not the way to get a man to listen. And I don't think the problem is Allison. I think it's you. Should I sign you up for her fan club now? No, I'm just saying that I think your behavior is a textbook example of how to drive a man away. I seem to recall that you were the one that declared an end to our ceasefire. Now, what would change your mind? Well, <clears throat> I'm just tired of the battle. Oh, I don't think so. No, no. The old balance of power, I believe you think somehow it shifted in your favor. Now, what would give you that idea? Oh, you tell me I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll tell you. Nothing makes you more agreeable than thinking you pulled one over on me. The ring? Right, the ring. Well, I still don't have your damn ring. That's not why we're here, okay? Why are we here? Because I am tired of playing the games. I don't want to do it anymore. You know what I want? I want to finally marry Allison. If you thought about this, if you thought about this for just one minute, you would realize that you and I were actually not so different. You do want to make music, right? You want the whole big, beautiful rock star life, but you know what you want more than anything? You want to share that life with um, Olivia. So what's stopping us from both getting what we want? Nothing. Well, except each other. 
But if we do this right, if we play this right, if we agree to peace in our time, then we can both have what really matters to us most. And if we don't agree? Well, hmm. And then nobody gets to live happily ever after. You've given her all this power over your life. No, that is not true. Yes, it is. I haven't given her anything. Yes, you have. And you can take it back. If you just realize what a treasure you are. Me? Yes. Absolutely know that you're enough for Kayla. Falling in love with you is the best thing that ever happened. How do I do that? You have to let Caleb love you the way that he's capable. And honey, you have to let go of this vendetta for Allison, please, for the sake of your own happiness. I've tried, but every time I turn around, Allison honey, is there. Honey, honey, a, a great place to start is to try to go for one hour without saying the word Allison. But I hate her, Dad. It doesn't matter. Just let it go. So how do you see this whole truce working? Divide the city down the middle, you take the east side, I'll take the west side. <laughs> okay, well, here's the thing. See, Joshua's plan is history. So if I get one whim to hear and that you're trying to turn this into some kind of vampire land, I'm gonna be after you so quick you won't see me coming. Joshua's an idiot. His plan lacked any semblance of honor or nobility. Okay. Okay, now, if that's not your way, if your way is honor and nobility, then you'll do me a big favor and keep your vampires in check. So far, I'm only hearing a lot about what I'm supposed to do and not a lot of quit or quo. Okay. I and any other slaves will stay out of your way. I can live with that. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> One more thing. <laughs> the other shoe drops. Stay away from Allison. Maybe Olivia's not the only one who's jealous. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not jealous. I'm worried. See, Olivia's insecurity is its own kind of monster. And every time your eye wanders a little bit, your, your little wife goes a little crazy. And that puts Allison in danger. I have no problem staying away from Allison. See if she can stay away from me. Sure, Allison will manage to get along without your so-called friendship. Yeah? Tell you what. Forbid Allison to talk to me. Now, that's a little conversation I'd buy a ticket to. Do we have a deal or not? Why not? Truce. Now, in the spirit of peaceful coexistence, I'm going to share something with you that I, I know about human nature. This should be good. Forbid someone to do something, especially a woman, and that becomes the only thing they want. Thanks, I appreciate that, but you know what? you got enough problems of your own. Speaking of which, I hope you and that insane person who used to call herself my wife, by the way, have a wonderful eternity together. And I hope you and the blonde are happy for that blink of an instant that you call a lifetime. So it's settled. Me and Allison, you and Olivia, Never the twain shall meet. Settle. Actually, I'm not. I'm just wondering why you're here. Look, I'm, I'm not really good at this. Good at what? Apologizing. Excuse me? I came here to say I'm sorry. Olivia showing up here the other day. That wasn't by chance, was it, Jack? Took some stones. Didn't know you had it in you. You know, I've been looking for a manager for the band. Heard you didn't screw it up too much while I was gone. So if you still want the job, it's yours. You can consider yourself manager on probation. <laughs> hey, you won't be sorry. Never sorry, Jack. But I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I understand that you're a businessman now, but uh, let's don't buy this whole vampire love fest just yet. Let's see if you can cut it. Is that it? That's all I got for now. Deal? Deal. Well, let's let the healing begin. All right. 
Kaz, Reese, let's do this thing. What's going on, Caleb? New manager. All right. Also, we let ourselves get a little distracted by Joshua. Everyone did, including me. But he is gone, and we're back. It's going to be all about the music now. That's fantastic. Regular lives, regular rehearsals. I like the sound of that. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you do, because we're going to do this thing the way we always want it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Ricky. We keeping you up no. over there? Oh, sorry, man. I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Well, then fix it, man. <laughs> we want to be charged up. We're big right now. We're going to ride this momentum. Hello, animals. So what's the party going to start? I've seen this movie before, all right? And it never really pans out that well. I'm serious. Try and apologize here. Apologize for which part of my life that you've messed up. I had a heart to heart with my father. Your father? He made me look at things. My life. You know, in a whole new way. Well, this whole new way of looking at your life, did it uh, portray you as Mother Teresa? I'm trying to be nice here. I can see that, but I can't figure out why. <laughs> but I have to have an excuse. You usually do. I mean, you're not really that nice unless it services you. Okay, you're right. Way. You're right. I have a totally selfish reason for wanting to put whatever it is we have between us behind us. And I'm sure you're going to give me the truth and nothing but the truth, right? Right after you uh, stab me in the back, is that it? I want to be able to enjoy my life with Caleb. Good. So go for it. I want to be able to go to bed at night without wondering how you're going to ruin my life or how I'm going to get back at you. That's it. That's the truth. That is all. Okay, great. Thanks for stopping by. I have a lot of painting to do, okay? So, where do I start? You can't really be serious. Come on. I'm trying really hard here. And like I said, this is not easy for me, okay? Thank you. I just wanted to help you. And besides, it's probably not a bad idea to be on speaking terms with the owner at the best. New Jim and poor Charles. And even a vampire could use a workout. Is he one of yours? Only in the loosest sense of the word. Don't don't sweat, I'll handle it. Can I get another beer? Turning me out. Oh, gorgeous. Hey, come on. Don't you even buy a girl a drink anymore? If I don't have to. What's going on, Frank? Oh, it comes unnaturally. What do you say you and I have a little talk? Oh, I'm sorry. My dance card's all full, right, Stacy? This isn't gonna happen. It... Oh, yeah? Back up, it's not gonna happen. Who's gonna stop us, huh? How do you know? You're interrupting my gathering over here. So if you want to feed, take it outside. Out of respect? Sorry, I'm all out of respect. You want to rethink that, Frank? Not used to being challenged, are you? You're like this walking time bomb. One mistake after another until finally you're just going to go boom, aren't you? That's not your problem. Hey, a mistake challenges me, becomes my problem. <laughs> 